In this video, we're going to be doing um, a great beginner's exercise. It's going to involve uh, pentascale, beginner pentascale hand positions on the white keys, one finger per key in both hands, and they're going to be in the same position. So this is in a C position, named by the bottom most note, C position, named by the bottom most note. We're going to both have both hands in C positions simultaneously, or D positions simultaneously, etc. Now, the idea here is that the right hand is going to have a block triad. We're going to use the first, the third, and the fifth tone of the penta scale. Penta means five, so of the five, we're going to use one, three, and five. And those fingers, you don't want to be doing this. This is terrible. You don't want to be doing this. This is not necessary at this point. You really do, as a beginner, want to get accustomed to this position, one, three, five, wherever you move on the keyboard in this exercise. The right hand is going to be having the block triad, and the left hand is going to have all five of the pentascale moving up. So, and they do work together. So it does involve coordination. The, uh, and we're gonna be moving hand position to hand position parallel up and down the keyboard. So this is what it's like. Pentascale here, block chord here. That is the C position. We're going to move everything up to D. Everything up to E. To F. G. A. B. C. When you get to the next C position, right, we've got, we've traveled up eight, or what's called an octave, from middle C in the right hand now to the C above in the right hand. Um, once you get here, the pentascale is going to be moving in that direction, from the top note down. You're going to reverse the direction, and then move to the next hand position going to the left. From the thumb of the left hand down the fingers to the pinky and you keep going until you're back to where you started so when we get all the way up to this C you actually end up doing this position twice when you first get there you're moving up like this in the left hand but I want you to repeat this position but now with the fingers going down so when you get to that top position, you actually end up doing it twice. Once like this, and once like that. Now, one last thing before we do the whole exercise. I don't want you to hesitate or add time between the hand positions. So I do, I do not want this. So that is not correct. I want you, even if you have to go slower, to be a regular metronomic pulse, that there's something on every single beat, all right? So here's the whole exercise. Um, the main thing is that you understand it intellectually, that you get the concepts. If you can't go as fast as I'm going right now, don't worry about it. Um, here's the whole exercise. <laughs> exercise. Have fun with that.